एवरी वन नोज एक्सेल एवरी वन नोज गूगल शीट्स बट वेरी फ्यू नो अबाउट द हिडन जेम दैट कम्बाइन द बेस्ट ऑफ बोथ एंड दैट जोहो शीट इट्स टोटली फ्री क्लाउड बेस्ड एंड लोडेड विथ पावरफुल फीचर्स दैट कैन कम्प्लीटली चेंज द वे यू वर्क विथ योर डेटा इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू यूज जोहो शीट from the basics to the feature that make it stand out so let's jump in and see how zoho sheet works as i told earlier it's a cloud based application so we will have to go to google i am in google now i'll be looking for zoho sheet on the very top we can see zoho create spreadsheet for free zoho sheet i'll click over here and the interface of zoho is just in front of us zoho sheet is totally free but you'll have to create your account over here I'll go on top in right hand side over here we can see language and that is english you can select your preferred language from here just after that we can see sign in and get started in case you have already created your account just click on sign in otherwise you'll have to click on get started even we can come down and we can click on create a spreadsheet the interface got changed get started with zoho sheet over here you'll have to provide your email id password and your phone number once all the things will be filled up you'll have to click on sign up for free and otp will come on your mobile number just put the otp and you are ready to go once you log in or sign in interface will look something like this main benefit of zoho sheets many users can use zoho sheet at the same time same like google sheets the main drawback of google sheet it lags a lot means it takes time to get updated and on the other hand zoho sheets are very fast i just say zoho sheets are combination of excel and google sheets files of zoho sheets get auto saved so no need to save the files on the top we can see new spreadsheet when we come down over here also we have got the option to create new spreadsheet even you can upload your file let's create a new spreadsheet i'll click over here and a new workbook got opened in a new tab or new window same as in excel we have got columns and rows when we come down over here we have got a single sheet and that is sheet 1 to insert a new sheet you'll have to click on plus sign to rename the sheet you'll have to come to sheet over here we get a drop down i'll click on drop down we got many options i'll be going on top and will click on rename and this will be my data i'll click on top now i'll rename the sheet we'll click over here we can see untitled spreadsheet we'll click over here we'll delete this and we'll rename as my data we'll click down on the top we can see various tabs like file in file we have got the option to insert new spreadsheet even we can import the files we can make a copy save as download as even we can mail our file as an attachment in case you want to delete your file Just come to the bottom and click on Move to Trash. Let's go on top. Let's see what's in Edit. Over here we have got the option of Undo, Redo, Cut, Copy, Paste, Fill, and many other options are there. Let's go to View tab. From here we can freeze our panes, hide and unhide. These are the grid lines. We can hide our grid lines, or even we can change the color of the grid lines. Just notice on the right hand side. colors are getting changed automatically and this is an awesome feature of zoho if i'll click on hide grid lines grid lines are not visible now let's go to view grid lines and i'll click on show grid lines let's go to view once again when we come down we get the option of zoom let's go to insert tab from here we can insert new rows new columns even we can insert cells new sheet charts can be inserted image can be inserted from here and we get two options we can insert image in the cell or over the cells and the first feature image in cell is an awesome feature i'll click over here drag and drop images here to upload i'll click on choose an image to upload and from here i'll insert my image i'll click on image and we'll click on upload my image is getting uploaded and my image got inserted in my cell let's come down i'll come to the bottom over here we get the option of zoom i'll zoom in my sheet and we can see the picture if i'll click over here we come to know 
what picture we have inserted. Let's go to right hand side on top and I'll close this. I'll come down and we'll zoom out. I'll delete the picture. Let's go to insert once again. From here we can insert buttons, hyperlink, functions, even we can insert note or comments. Check boxes can also be inserted and our emojis or emoticons can also be inserted. Let's go to format. In format, we can change our themes. We can format the cells. We can use conditional formatting from here. We can insert tables. We can change our fonts. Even font size can be changed. And we have got many more options related to formatting. Let's go to next tab that is data. In data, we get the option of sort, filter, group and ungroup. We can insert our pivot tables. Data validation can be inserted to create drop downs. Even we can clean our data from here. We can connect the data through data connections. We can extract the data from picture also. Let's go to review. We can check the spellings. We have got personal dictionary over here for our ease. Translate. Let's come to the bottom. Lock. We can lock our cells. We can lock our sheet. We can manage the locking and even we can highlight the locks. Let's go to next tab that is tool. We can record our macros. So macros can be recorded or created. We can edit the VBA codes. And in the end, we have got help tab. Perfect. I'll click inside the sheet. Over here, we get many options like print, undo or redo, our format painter, clear, fonts, means font styles. We can increase font size from here. Bold, italic. We can change the colors. We can do the alignments. Let's create a format to understand things better. I'll click over here on C4. We can see C4 over here. Serial number. Name. Let's do one thing. Let's come down and let's increase the size. Name. Designation. Whenever we are doing the entry, small box is getting popped up. And we are able to know what entry is getting done. Over here, we can see three buttons. Let's click over here. And we can move this as per our requirement. And this thing is not in Excel or Google Sheets. Let's put it back. Perfect. I'll come over here. Sales. Amount. I'll not be going to right hand side. On the left hand side, we have got extra columns. I'll come to column B. I'm not going to right click the mouse to delete my column. I'll be coming to arrow. We'll click on arrowhead. We'll come down and we'll select delete column and my column got deleted. I'll come to row number two. We'll click on arrow, delete row. I'll take column A closer. We'll come to right hand side. We'll drag sales amount. We'll double click over here and we'll do this sales average. Now I'll be coming to serial number. We'll select row number three. We'll go on top. We'll come in the center. Over here, we get the option of horizontal alignment. I'll click on drop down and we'll select align center. All the heads got aligned. Now I'll click on serial number and we'll select till sales average. We'll go on top. On top, we get the option of fill color. I'll click over here and my color got changed. If we are not satisfied with yellow color, we can click on drop down and can change the color as per our requirement. We'll go on top and from here I'll change the text color. We'll select white. We'll come to left hand side and we'll change the font style. We'll select bold style or bold font. We can adjust the column size by double clicking over here. Serial number 1. I'll click on 1 and we'll drag this down as per my requirement. I want till 5. So I'll delete rest of the figures. Our numbers are getting aligned in right. Let's come to name. I'll put some name over here. Name 1. We'll increase the column size. So text is getting aligned in left and figures are getting aligned in right. I'll select the whole column. We'll come in the center and we'll align all the things in center. Perfect. Name. To drag this down, I'll double click over here. All the names got filled. Designation. Team member. We'll click over here and we'll drag it down. Sales amount. In sales amount and sales average, I'll be taking some random figures. So I have taken some random figures in sales amount. Now I'll copy this. We'll select from top to bottom and we'll be using the same shortcut what we use in Excel. Control C or Command C. Now I'll click over here in sales average and we'll press Control V or Command V. 
same data got pasted. Now I'll click on serial number. We'll press shift control down arrow key, right arrow key. We'll go on top and we'll create borders. Our borders got inserted. In case you are using MacBook, you'll have to press shift command down arrow key, right arrow key. Now we will be using some formula. I'll come to sales amount and we'll insert my formula plus or equal to sum bracket open number. I'll select all the numbers from top to bottom. Bracket is already closed. So I'll hit enter and we got the figure. We'll go on top and we'll align this in center. Now I'll come to average plus or equal to A and we got all the suggestions. I'll put A V E average. I'll click over here. Over here in prompt, we can see average in blue. I'll click on average and on the right hand side, we got all the functions of average. This is my function of average. I'll click over here. We can insert this function through plus sign or even we can click on insert. But we have already inserted our function. Let's delete this. I'll come over here and we'll click on plus sign and my function got inserted. We'll select the range and we'll hit enter and we got the figure. Let's go on top and let's align this in center. Now I'll select all the figures from top to bottom and we'll be going to format. Format cells. We'll come to right hand side and from here I'll be selecting currency. We'll come to right hand side and we'll select my desired currency. I'll be selecting Indian rupee and just notice we got the desired currency. But with currency sign, my decimals got inserted. Let's go on top. Let's come to right hand side. Over here we get the option of decrease decimals and increase decimals. I'll decrease my decimals and it's done. Let's come to right hand side and let's close function window. Now I'll click just under serial number 5 and we'll select till designation. We'll go on top and we'll merge the cells. My cells got merged. Over here I'll be putting total. Enter. We'll select all three and we'll create borders over here. Even we can change the colors. We'll change the cell color as well as font color. Let's change the font style. Let's go to view grid lines and let's click on hide grid lines and our format is ready now. So these were the basics of Zoho sheet. In future, I'll be coming with more videos on Zoho sheet.